Hello, I'm Jerry Ford. I'm going to review a Starkist product. This is um, Starkist EVOO, Extra Virgin Olive Oil. That's what that stands for. Solid yellowfin tuna with lemon with lemon dill and extra virgin olive oil. Excuse me, and olive oil. Wild tuna, it says. Excuse me. Um, product, let's see. Product may contain bones. So you gotta watch out for that. I'll read a little bit of the ingredients here in, the, here in a minute. Um, I don't know. I'm going to put it on some toast. i got some regular bread here I toasted. Um, make a sandwich out of it. I don't know if I'm going to want like too much of the olive oil on my sandwich. I won't be able to pick it up. It'll probably be so soggy if there's that much in there, you know. Um, but we'll see. I might drain some out. It doesn't look too bad so far. It smells good. You can see some of the dill in there. I think that's what it is. Little green herb looking things in there. Let's get a taste of it. get the olive oil you get a little bit of a lemon aroma that's not very big though in there mostly I think it's mostly the dill and the tuna aroma it smells really good Oh, wow. Man, that's really good. That olive oil in there. Wow. And then you got the dill flavor with the, with the tuna. Um, that is really good. That is really good. All right. Well, let's... Uh, let me get another bite here of... Of a, like a, a big patch of, of dill right there. Mm hmm. Man, that is real good. Real good tender tuna. There is a light tartness in there. It's pretty light though. It must be part of the lemon. All right, let's get this out here on this, on this bread. I'm pretty hungry right now. I always eat early, so had a, a, a muffin, and it wore off about an hour ago. This makes for a fat sandwich. 
usually a can of tuna <clears throat> will, you know, go go further. I mean, it, it'll it'll definitely feed two people. Once you get it out here and you get like some Miracle Whip. Oh, wait a minute. I'm seeing, I'm seeing some bone-like things in there, but they're, they're pressurized, kind of like how they'd be in a can of sardines. If I just bit on, bit on it, and it just disintegrated. So, so far there's nothing in there that is going to choke me to death. So. <clears throat> Yeah, you mix up some cement. Not with this. I don't think I'd do that with this. With this one, this is already, you know, regular tuna. You, you can make tuna sandwiches out of um, with mayonnaise and or mayonnaise or Miracle Whip. But this here, having this olive oil in there, um, the dill, lemon dill, whatever. Um, I don't think it would go good with it like that. All right, so <clears throat> put this top on there. Cut it in half, I'll just use my fork. Should cut fairly easy. Oh wait a minute, I have a knife right here. Looks good. Good little lunch. Okay. Let me get a bite of this and Oh yeah. It goes real good on bread. As a, as a sandwich. Um, I happen to have some club crackers here. Let's see how it does on a salty club cracker. Oh yeah, I think it's doing crapper. This should make a good hors d'oeuvre, I think. <clears throat> on a bunch of different crackers, I'm on a big platter, you know, serving it to your guests. Because it's kind of a fancy, fancy made tuna with, with that extra virgin olive oil and the lemon dill in there. Really good. Um, yellowfin tuna, extra virgin olive oil. Um, let's see, dehydrated vegetables that have onion in there, leek, parsley, chive, some spices, including dill weed, sea salt, lemon peel lemon oil, natural flavor, I already said that, natural extractives of turmeric for color, and that's about it. Okay, good stuff. All right, I thank you for watching, I appreciate it, and we will see you on the next one. Let me know if you've tried this one, the Star Kissed 
extra virgin olive oil with lemon dill 